So we have defined the processors on our field. Now let's go ahead and use that with item loader. To do that, we will need to import that from Scrapy. That is from Scrapy.loaders. We'll import item loader like this. And then here, instead of creating an ebook item, we'll create a loader. That is a loader like this. You can also name it ebook loader, but ebook is fine. That is the loader. And then we'll create a class of item loader. To item loader, we need to pass two things. That is the item itself. And that item is our ebook item, which we have created. And then we will just add these things to our loader itself. That is, we'll go ahead and just call loader dot add value method. You can see we have add CSS and XPath as well. But for now, let's see what the add value is. So we can just use add value and we will just use the field that is we want to add value for the title and then we can provide the value for the same as the second positional argument and that is our ebook css attribute so we can just cut that from here and paste it right in here so this is how we can add a value to our item loader which we have created right here of course this title here that is this one does not have any processors so it is fine but when we are adding something like this that is the price which has some processor defined we can make use of our item loader that is we'll just use again the loader add value and then we will use the price field name and then the value to add is this right here we don't need the get price function call because it will be processed using our field name input processor so let's just extract out the selector and then give it right here we don't need this anymore and now we have added the title and the price to our item loader now this is one way of adding a value to our item loader else we can also use the add css or xpath as well let me show you how can we do that. That is, first of all, we will define the selector here. That is the ebook here. We are not selecting the values from the response. We are doing that from our ebook. So here we'll define the selector. You can see selector keyword argument. So we will define the selector as the ebook like this. And then instead of calling the ebook.css, we will call add css like this and then we just need to give the selection string that is this one right here and because we are calling the add css we cannot use the attrib here and we'll just use the adder function instead like this we want the title and that's how we use the add css with our item loaders notice how much keystrokes we saved that is we just pass the selector we want to select with and then Using our loader, we call the add CSS, that is for title. We want to add this selector's value. Similarly, we can use this for our loader, that is the price. So I can go ahead and select the ebook. And then we can't call the get here. Again, we have to remove this, just the selection string. And then we can just switch it to the add CSS method. So this is how we call our item loader and add the values so what we did is just created our item loader created our item that is the ebook item and also defined our custom selector that is the ebook and then we added a css and if we want we can also use the loader oops loader dot add xpath as well if you want to add xpath but for now we are using css so we use the add css method then we give it the title or the field we want to add value for that is the title in this case and then the selector string that is h3 a tags attribute which is title so this is how we create our item loader and add values inside of the same and then we are loading it that is we are extracting the data using the yield keyword we will use our loader here and call the load item method and now when we call this load item this output processor will be called and what it will do is just pass this values to our ebook item create object of the same and then just output it to scrapey so 
Now we can go ahead and run our spider. So let's do a dust run. And what I will do is just change this URL right here to the travel one. That is, we have this URL right here. I'll just take this much, copy it, and paste that as our start URL. Okay. Now we'll scrape different data. And let's run our spider, scrapey crawl, the ebook spider. And now if we scroll up a bit, you can see the data we have scraped. That is the price, the same thing, that is a integer, not a string. And then for the title, you can see that it is a list. So this is why I told you that we have to use the take first processor when we are outputting the value. So we will just copy this from here and then paste it right here. That is for our title. We'll just output the processor and then we can just go ahead and run our scraper again. And this time we'll just get one title. And while we are at it, let's output the data as well. So output as let's say travel because it is a travel data, travel.json, hit enter let it run and then we will inspect our json file so let's open up our json file you can see we have total of 11 entries here that is from 2 to 12 total 10 actually so we have 10 books right here inside of our json so that's how we use item loaders inside of our spiders to load items perform some processing on the selected data and then extract them out so that's how we use items and item loaders.